Well, I came home from the park today with the little snarkle dog, and on my porch I found that my toy shock, 12-in-1 Gottlieb pinball unit, video pinball unit had delivered. Awesome. So on opening up the box, you can see there's a nice full-color box inside that shows a nice side view of the pinball machine. This one is the haunted house-themed one, which I absolutely love haunted house. Also, on the other side of the box, you can see there's a, a little picture showing what 12 games are included on this video pinball. A lot of great titles on here. And it does warn you to open one side only. If you open up backwards, it, it doesn't work out so well. I, I did that. I didn't read the box. But I did open the right side and I was able to get into it fairly easy. Now, what's really neat about this, on the box itself, it shows how quick the assembly is. It took me about 20 minutes to fully assemble this machine, which isn't bad. It includes everything you need. It has a special tool that has a screwdriver and Allen head on one side. Uh, basically, you just got some wing nuts, uh, some legs, bolts, not a whole lot that you have to do to put this thing together. The legs are packaged really nice on top of the uh, machine itself. It is face down in the box. And I flipped over the Haunted House backdrop there. That looks really cool. I love the artwork on the Haunted House machine. Mine did have a loose screw that was flopping around the box. I don't know if it has vibrated out or what. But you got to take this back off anyway to hook up the wiring, which I'll talk about later. Also in the box, you had a nice little bag of hardware of everything you need. It was fairly easy to attach the legs with the enclosed tool that they gave you. Then on the back, you would mount the back back plate onto the top of the machine, put in the little wing nuts, there's four of them, to tighten it down, and then hook up the wiring. Uh, it's not hard to uh, get the wiring hooked up correctly because they all have different plugs, so you can't cross-plug this thing. That was a pretty good idea that they had. Then you just put the back of the machine back on, hook up the power supply, which is tucked up underneath, and then flip on the on-off switch, which if you're facing machine, it's on the right-hand side towards the back. So when you initially turn it on, it'll come on. You can see like the haunted house marquee light up. and You'll see like a selection screen come up and everything. Now the controls on the game, on the front of the machine, you have a blue button, which is kind of like your option select or your back button, that kind of thing. The yellow button in the middle would be your start or select and a little round ball on the side there on the uh, next to the yellow button is your plunger you pull out and it does allow you to barely hit the pinball so you just pull the plunger out halfway it only gives it half the power when you hit the ball that's a nice touch so it is an analog analog plunger which is cool on the right left hand side you have these red buttons which are your flippers the little blue buttons are the nudge buttons. This is what you would use to nudge the table like you would in an actual pinball. You'll put some body English on that bad boy. Now the back display is very colorful. I love the back display on this thing. It's got really nice digital readout. It lights up the haunted house uh, marquee really nice. It, it's a really good looking display. So let's take a look at the manual that came with the unit. And then I'm going to give the game a try. So here's the manual that came with the Toy Shock 12-in-1 pinball machine. Features a bunch of Gottlieb tables. Has some electromechanical tables on there. And some of the newer uh, tables have like the voices and, and little trinkets and stuff like that. It's an overall pretty fun little pinball machine. I, me and my wife have been enjoying it. We've been playing it most of the afternoon. Maybe playing the Haunted House, which that's my wife's favorite game. It's one of the reasons why I picked this up is because she loves pinball machines and she loves video pinball. So I thought maybe this something would be fun for us to uh, to play because you can play up to four players on this machine, which is really cool. So the manual. It's laid out really nice. It's one of those big fold-out kind of manuals where it kind of folds out long ways like so. So it goes through the assembly process. It's really straightforward. It only took me like 20 minutes to put this thing together. It goes together really fast. Really give them kudos for how they package this machine and how easy it is to assemble. 
Then it shows the button controls, how to scroll through the menus. It's very intuitive. Uh, if you just follow the on-screen prompts, you pretty much will get the hang of what buttons does what. I basically talk about what buttons did what in the, VD, in the sequence before this one. Turning on the system, there's the on-off button right there. You got you adjust the volume. It does not save the volume setting. It always defaults back to this 40% when you turn the machine off and, and turn it back on again, which is a bummer. 40% is a good volume if you're in the room by yourself. You don't need to have it really loud. And you go through how to select the different games that are on this machine. Get menu options, which I'll talk about more when I actually fire the machine up. And of course, back here in the back, it shows the high scores, all that good stuff. And it does not save high scores either. I played, we played a few games, turned it off, turned it back on, and our high scores were gone. Eh, that was a bummer. Unless I'm doing something wrong, but it, it, mine didn't save high scores. So there we go. There is the manual for the machine. Pretty cool. Multiplayer select screen. Pretty cool. Up to four players per game. Oh, that's awesome. So now, let's actually play the game. Okay. Let's try out the new Toy Shock Digital Pinball. This features a collection of 12 Gottlieb games. Uh, of course, it features Haunted House as the main game. That's what the backboard shows and what the graphics show on the side of the pinball machine, so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get it, because I love Haunted House. It's actually a pretty cool little pinball machine. It takes a while to boot up, though. Awesome. Oh, that's cool. I like the music. Now I did notice every time I turn it off and turn it on, the volume resets down to 40%. It's a little hard to hear probably on the camera. So I'm going to crank up the volume by hitting the option over here, this button, the little blue button. And I can use the flippers to turn the volume up. Oh, ha, ha. Cool. So we'll go back. Here's some of the tables we have. We have Haunted House. We have Victory. I like that one too. Bone Busters. I don't think I've played Bone Busters. Lights, Camera, Action. Class of 1812. TX Sector. Big Shot. El Dorado, City of Gold. Centigrade 37. Black Hole. Jack's Open. Going Nuts. And then back to Haunted House. So we hit the start button, the little yellow button here in the center. It's very intuitive uh, on hitting the controls and everything. Now the way you tilt this machine is there's two little blue buttons right below the flippers on each side. You hit one to make it bump this way, hit the other to make it bump that way. But it's really easy to tilt the machine when you do that. Haunted House has some options as well. All the games do. So we can go in here. We got instructions for the game. The setup of the game, so let's see what that looks like. How many players, okay. We've got a high score table. And it does retain your high scores. Thanks to P-Dubs Arcade Law for uh, reminding me how to do it. I did it wrong in this video. See part two to uh, see how to save your high scores. Now, back to the machine. Now we have options down here. Which would be the volume control again, but you can also turn the HUD on and off. Right now it's off. I turn it on. You can see up here at the very top we have a digital display which kind of mimics the back glass, what it's doing. I just look at the back glass like you would on a normal pinball machine. So I'll leave that off. And then we have goals, standard goals. So we want to earn extra ball, advance the bonus multiplier. It's pretty cool. Now the instructions, oh, hang on, go, go back. Hang on. Hit the wrong button. Okay. The instructions 
basically would take you through how to play the game. So I can go down here to you know introduction for all. Let's go down to the main floor here. Hit the select button. So on the main floor, it starts explaining all the different goals. So you got the cellar, the main floor entry. So it goes through the whole table. So it's kind of neat because it kind of teaches you where all the targets are and everything like that. If you go to the introduction screen, it's like uh, it explains the game it has you know, the attic, cellar. That's kind of cool. So that's kind of neat that they do that. So if I hit the play all up here at the very top, it'll go through everything. 305 points it'll go through. That is kind of cool that it does that. It's pretty awesome. Alrighty. Let's go back out of here. Now the back glass is, is pretty basic. It's just a set of digital LEDs that gives you the scores for all four players and what ball you're on at the very bottom. Uh, it has the haunted house back glass on it, which I really like. But it doesn't change. It always says haunted house. So it, it's kind of, that's it's okay. It does feature two speakers that has stereo sound, which is kind of nice. So let's play a game. Hit the start. So I got a little plunger I can pull out. And bam! Woo. Oh, I'm in the attic. Get in the attic. Oh, oh. Awesome. Ooh, cool. Went to the cellar. Oh, right down the middle. Oh no, 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 Now I like the, uh, the plunger. Feels like a regular arcade plunger. You believe that. We're right through the middle. Well, set a score, so A, S, A. At the very bottom of the list. <laughs> <laughs> so let's check out another table here. Let's exit out of this one. Exit table. Let's go try uh, Bone Busters. I don't think I've ever played Bone Busters. Let's check this one out. Oh, wow. Oh, this one looks cool. Here we go. And I lost the ball already. Oh man, get to the top. Ah. <laughs> I'll just pull it, barely pull back on the plunger. As you can see, you can't control how much effort you put on the ball based on how far you pull the plunger back. Almost got the ramp. Almost got up there. Got a little more. Nope, not quite. A little more. Not too hard. This is a cool table. I like this one. Dang it! I did terrible. I think you make the high score list. Let's look at another table on here. Let's go check out Class of 1812. This is a cool table.
The ball physics seems to be pretty good. Got an extra ball. Awesome. Oh, right down the middle. I was robbed. <laughs> Sounds like Mickey Mouse. Blah, 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 blah. Let's hit the tilt function. If, it, if I do the tilt function, you can see I can kick the ball over to the side and try to save it, which I didn't save it. <laughs> awesome. Okay. You the next field. Exit table. Let's try one more table. Let's see which one. Let's uh, try one of the older classic tables, electromechanical table, I think. I think this is one of those. Yeah, you got old electromechanical tables on here, which is actually kind of cool. This is the kind of tables I grew up on. to build different hands. It's kind of hard to do. Woo! <laughs> Thought I lost it. Tilt it. Tilt! <laughs> Pretty cool! So that was just a little quick overview and gameplay of Toy Shock's new 12-in-1 Gottlieb Haunted House 3-quarter scale 
mini video pinball machine. Features some really great electromechanical tables on here, as well as some of the newer tables with all the voices and sound effects. It's a nice selection of Gottlieb tables. If you'd like to have something like this in your little mini arcade, I would, I would recommend this. This is actually kind of cool. It does have some drawbacks. Uh, you know, for one, the back glass does not change. Uh, it stays haunted house the whole time, which is not a big deal. And the very thick bezel all the way around the screen it can put some people off. It looks like the screen is a little bit too small for the machine. Would like to have a bigger screen to have a, a thinner bezel, but that's just some minor things. The ball physics were fairly decent. It kind of reminds me of Pinball Arcade, which I really like that series on my PS4. And the controls were fairly responsive. Doesn't doesn't feel like it has the micro switches on the push buttons though, but that's another minor thing that can be easily upgraded. Overall, I really like this little machine from Toy Shock. Uh, it's mainly for my wife. Uh, she's been playing a little bit of daylights out of it since I've set it up. But I, I, I kind of like it myself. Anyway, as always, everyone, thanks for watching. And right down the drain story of my life. Thanks for watching.